चेक हेलो 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 चेक 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 Morning to one and all present here. A wed. Who's that? Anand. Anand. Priyesh is not joined. So Got not it. Joined. All right. Welcome on stage, sir. first of all i would like to thank uh, hitex and for organizing himtex and giving us an opportunity to come here and share our thoughts on the metal 3d printing application for guys for my delay uh, my name is anand i am the director of enterprises which focuses on additive manufacturing so uh, we are uh, having full suite um, additive solutions for additive solution for ansys so i am here uh, to talk about my whatever i could gather the information and knowledge them <coughs> so out of that uh, the metals market is probably around so if you see we, we are not even there in terms of 1% of the global uh, machine tool development market so we have a huge opportunity technology because they really see the value that why they should be looking at this technology we have a lot of exp experts available on the stage uh, along with me uh, there are couple of challenges also so the over there are challenges in terms of standards again whatever is produced on the machines who will certify that for the machine tool industry that's again a challenge and then there are technological challenges which are there with all compared to the standard either it's in the development phase or in the production phase so this is definitely the, the biggest uh, topic and second significant role uh, in most of these things and uh, jaspreet also mentioned about weight uh, especially who are in uh, a, i would say a special purpose machine category as such so maybe you know we could listen to other people what uh, opinions they have way so definitely not uh, so these are complementing technologies or manufacturing methods so there are certain complex complex parts um, uh, obsolescence or uh, low volume production that is where actually additive is going to uh, uh, the additive manufacturing technology so when you are designing some of these components like highlighting so when you are designing some of the components for a machine tool technology for every industry including a machine tool uh, industry for that matter industry wherein today today's workforce they don't want to wear those old traditional designs and they want to change their designs frequently 
making the bone further uh, for uh, everybody. Now, with the with the additive, it is possible that you take a measurement and you make a implant uh, specific to uh, our solution and few other solution. It is possible to simulate each and every and how exactly it's active in the additive manufacturing domain. And if you guys doing anything in the machine tool development side. Okay, so ANSYS acquired a company called as 3D Sim, uh, four year application. So ANSYS uh, took over this company four years back and we actually developed the tool further to cover the entire range of metal additive. Uh, we are not uh, focusing on uh, uh, plastic. Provider, you have the technical provider and I am the service provider. <laughs> so, so what happens is I buy the machines from uh, Anand, PL, um, uh, you name it, we, we cover those things. So what we do is we work with our customers in identify, uh, make the finished parts and help our customers to actually certify the components. So we work very closely with um, uh, uh, customers from, right from identification all the way up to uh, qualification of the components and put it into serial production. We have to work on that and the industry definitely is moving in that direction. So apart from uh, the, uh, the services what we provide, the printing services, how to fish, they will not be able to identify more components. So if we teach them fishing, more components are going to be identified, which, is, which means more business to all of us here. So that is what we do. What? From 3D printing technology. So uh, basically uh, there are some special materials which are on the development phase. So we see this also could be a very interesting market uh, because with 3D printing, as you know, you can do environments because the shape, uh, the, the, the design keeps changing. And it's usually the machine because when you talk about large special purpose machines, uh, they, they basically are again designed for uh, some application. And those applications might need some special fixturings. At a totality, if you look at it, uh, 3D printing, uh, has made a, a lot of impact. Uh, it's growing again, you know, it's an industry. Uh, there are several uh, large spare parts. Uh, I mean, when you look at the oil rig, it's also a large machinery, you know. So even there... Big players now operating out of US and e Europe, which are focusing only on oil and gas, and specifically on drilling, cutting guides and tools, machine tools. So there's a huge market there. Uh, applications and industry. And uh, uh, we, at ANSYS, we are doing our bid uh, training plan. So this is this is one part. Second is, I guess, uh, uh, as I said, maybe we, once the pricing overall cost of ownership comes down. Ayatira, your inputs, please. So there are barriers, but we can. We, there are ways of working around uh, with the cost factors, and there are ways you can actually uh, see a good fit. So as for a specific component, so they can use additive manufacturing for the prove outs uh, they can use additive manufacturing for the in the design cycle like I was like machine tool it is only for space and aerospace uh, if you if you are uh, keeping that notion it becomes very difficult for you to uh, really adopt some um, uh, openness has to be there to explore the technology and once you understand the technology then the engineering technology is and what the technology can do and uh, we'll be happy to actually identify the applications in your own or you know a cutting tool for oil and gas industry or some other kind of tool which you manufacture for different industry but eventually who killed people from so that's why if you see a lot of these large OEMs they've actually went for MNAs they went for acquisitions of technology companies rather than building their own businesses Just the lack of knowledge uh, within their own organization uh, which is preventing them to get into this domain because for example uh, when they think uh, you learn this process uh, in a systematic way. Uh, I don't think we uh, are in a position 10,000 plus components. When we did uh, uh, analysis, we finally boiled down to like 200 to 300 parts. That's being jumped to the next level, uh, definitely. And um, another important uh, statistics, which if your design is not made with the value keeping the 3D printing manufacturing process, uh, whether it's a DED process or a powder bed process in mind, uh, we are from, from the hardware side, maybe Amit is from the software side. So they just learn what they're interacting, you know, on the thing. They're not going through a systematic program. Is it pretty well? The biggest challenge remains the manpower and the skill set. And in fact, I think all the three panelists from different industries, they all have their training programs and they're trying to do their bit 
So we at NCAM are also looking into this direct 3D printing segment. Uh, and I think the critical question here arises that uh, now government is focusing heavily on the startup incubation and rolling out a lot of opportunities. Hyderabad is one of the key hubs for startup in India, you know. So what role does a startup can play within the overall horizon of the technology? So we have for the new technology is a different thing because they have been using a, a subtractive manufacturing for decades together or uh, probably all throughout their career, uh, uh, universities. So there is a, uh, the, all the startups are actually, if you probably, uh, I don't know the demography, both in metal additive manufacturing or uh, polymer additive manufacturing. So there could be uh, many uh, university uh, student he had actually invented a, a device, I can say device. It is a realization pathway for some of these innovative ideas. So if you have a 3D printer, um, a 3D printer polymer actually having to know uh, uh, how to actually reach